Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is David Hyman, your tour guide in Israel. Today's tour is at the Banyas Springs. So Banyas is all the way up in the north of the country. The easiest way to get there is on road 90 and then turn on road 99. And you can see here, look at the Blue River Jordan, how it starts at Banyas. So we're actually on the border between the Golan Heights and Mount Hermon. This is Mount Hermon. The origin of the water is actually from the mountains. So all the rainwater filter through the rocks and they emerge from the base of the mountain in the form of a spring. So this is the Khirman Spring or the Banya Spring. And it is uh, basically a quarter of the water that feeds River Jordan. So the name uh, Banyas is a mispronunciation of uh, Panyas, Pan, P-A-N. From the word, from the name of the Greek god Pan. The city of Banyas was extremely important for 1500 years due to its location on the road to Damascus and the abundance of fresh water. On our tour, we'll visit sites from the Hellenistic period, the second century BC, and as late as the Crusader period. This is where the ancient temple of Pan was. They would place the idols in these niches. There's even a Greek inscription underneath. And another idol would be placed here. Maybe a third one here. And there's another Greek inscription on both sides. You can see how it's carved in the rock. Here, Herod's son Philippus established the seat of his rule here, calling the town Caesarea Philippi. However, the name Panias caught on, and Banias it remains until today. So in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16, we read about Peter's confession about Jesus. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do the people say that the Son of Man is? The disciples are here with Jesus at this exact location, Caesarea Philippi. This is the name of the town in the Roman period. And uh, they probably see what we saw. They see this rock. They see the temple of the pagan god Pan. They see the spring. They see the water source. And then this conversation happens when Jesus asks his disciples, who do the people say I am? It's an amazing moment and a very, very important, beautiful place. So I'm really excited to be here today because this is the first time that I'm here to see this new excavation. And they revealed an ancient church. So first of all, we can see the mosaic floor right over there. The river that we just saw uh, historically emerged out of the cave of Panias. You see Palace of Agrippa. So King Agrippa was uh, Herod's King Herod the Great's great grandson. It's a view of the Palace of Agrippa II. So during the second half of the first century CE, Agrippa II expanded the city limits and enhanced it with beautiful statues and magnificent buildings. They found coins of the city of Panias. There's Pan playing the flute. The entrance was here. So this is Roman building, still intact from the first century. So during the excavations of the palace of Agrippa, uh, they revealed this building. It is a small rectangular building and it has an orientation which means it's facing south. 
So this definitely could be a synagogue. Another reason that this could be a house of worship is because it's decorated with the most expensive material that they could find. These granite pillars, there's one here, one there, two in the middle, which probably supported a heavy ceiling. And one of the pillars was dragged here from the Roman city. This is red granite. So Banyas was a very important city during the Crusader period, around the 12th century. The only thing really that you can see from the Crusader town is the city gate. I'm not sure if this is Crusader or the Mameluk gatehouse, but it is very, very beautiful. Join me now on uh, the three kilometer trail that follows the river down to the waterfall and the suspended trail. This is one of the most popular hikes in the whole country, <laughs> walking from the springs to the fall. Uh, well, we're from America. Yeah, but... Are you recording us? I am. Oh, cool. <laughs> For what? You want to be at my YouTube yeah. channel? Oh, you're on a YouTube, you do a YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah. <laughs> cool. This park is uh, managed by the Israeli Nature and Parks Authority, which means you pay admission. Uh, there's two gates. One is where I started the tour, near the springs. And the other gate is near the waterfall. Extremely beautiful place. The trail is marked in blue and you will pass the flour mill. Uh, the energy of the water was tamed to spin the wheels and create flour from the grain. Then you'll walk under the Roman bridge, which is still standing and supporting the road. And then just walk along the gushing water of the Banyas River, but remember to always stay on the marked path. The water temperature is a constant 15 degrees Celsius, 1.5, which is uh, pretty cold, I think. Yeah. This, we call this pool the officer's pool because when this part, this area was part of Syria so the Syrian officers would uh, hang out here. They had uh, villas and they would come down here to swim. Suspended trail. Then 2004, construction started. In 2009, the construction was completed. And then 2010, trail opened to visitors. So this is the suspended trail. Ready? Here we go. The Banyas River cuts its way through the black basalt rock and creates this narrow canyon.
Join me now to see and feel the Banyas waterfall. It is 10 meters high and the observation deck is just close enough to feel and enjoy the water spray. Until 1967, the village of Banyas and the whole Golan Heights were in Syrian hands and this whole region switched hands between Syria to Israel during the Six Day War, 1967. This was one of the Syrian buildings. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Banyas Springs in the Golan Heights. So if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below. And please write a comment, let me know where you'd like to go in our next tour of Wonderful Israel. Until then, shalom shalom, take care, bye bye, leitrot.